Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where today we're going to look at the if error function in Google Sheets. Now I'm sure all of you who have used Sheets in the past have seen errors like these messages displayed here in column B and they're not fun to look at, they're kind of annoying. Sometimes you don't know why they even came about in the first place. So today we're going to look at what these types of errors are, why they might be made, and how you can fix them or just make it so that something else is displayed in your cell rather than the error message. There are five types of errors you can come across in Google Sheets. You have divided by zero error, not available error, reference error, name error, and number error. They're pretty simple and I'll explain them real quick. So the division error is that something cannot be divided by zero. So we'll do an example here. Uh, we'll do equals one over zero, and it gives you the division error, pretty simple. It also works if you were to have one in this cell and zero in this cell, and then you did equals E over F, it would be the same thing. VLOOKUP error uses the VLOOKUP function. If it can't find what you're looking for, you type in equals VLOOKUP, and then you click on a cell and there's nothing there. It's not available. The reference error is when a cell in your function has been deleted, maybe because you deleted a row with that function. So we'll do, for example, this cell has one, this cell has two, and your function is equals this cell divided by that cell 1 over 2, 0.5. But say you take away one of the cells, you'll have a reference error. And then if you click on the function itself, in the function bar up here, you see equals E3 over reference because it was taken away, so it doesn't know where to look anymore. Next, you have a name error, and that's common when you mistype a function, for example, We'll type in equals uh, some ifs, but say you used one too many m's. Yeah, there you go. The unknown range name, because summifs is not a function. Summifs is so. Then you have the number error function, where a number is too large. Google Sheets only allows you to do a function totaling a certain number. I'm not sure exactly what the limit is, but we'll do an example here. Equals, choose a really big number, to the really big number power. And then once you get this red line, it will show you that you're going to get the error. You hit enter, and there you have your number error. So five pretty simple types of, types of errors. And now when you see one, you'll kind of understand a little better what they are. With knowledge of what the types of errors are, you can better prevent an error and assess where an error might be coming from and then fix it. Now, there might be times where you don't mind an error being in place because it is the correct function. You just don't have the proper data in yet. In that case, you might want to use the if error function to display something other than the error message in a cell. So we'll do it, for example, in this division error cell. So what you're going to do is in front of your function, this is just 1 divided by 0, so it's pretty simple. You'll type it, first you'll do a parentheses to start it. And then prior to that parentheses, you'll type in one word, if error. And then without closing your parentheses yet, you'll do a comma after the end of your function. And then in quotations, you'll type in whatever message you want to appear. So for us, we'll do subscribe. Then you're going to end your quotations, hit enter. And instead of the error message, it'll say subscribe. And when you do this, it means that, say, you change it to 1 divided by 1. It'll, it'll still show 1 because there's no error. It'll only show subscribe if there is an error. So let's hit enter and it says subscribe. But if we change it to 1 divided by 1, it says 1 because 1 divided by some number is not an error. 
one divided by zero is an error, so subscribe will appear. And that's pretty much it for if error. I think this is a good function. It really helps you to make your sheets look a little pretty if you don't like the, the error messages. I don't really like them, so I think that the if error function is a good remedy to that. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and think that you learned something, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.